Hello, my name is Stacy Bressler and I am the creator of the Interactive Kids Camping Journal. Now, as you can tell, mine's a pro. This is the first copy. And when you guys get yours, it won't have that on there. So I'm super excited to tell you guys that this is probably the first actual camping journal for kids. Um, a lot of them are summer camp ones. This one has stuff that kids who love to camp and have cool camping adventures can use to document. So I just want to tell you guys what's inside so you know what you're getting. Um, I have a nice kind of like a table of contents thing here so you get a little preview of what you're getting. And I want to make it really personal. This isn't just like a line journal. This is their kind of camping diary. So you can put a picture here, write their name here. And there's some basic safety rules. I think it's just kind of nice to have that uh, set there for them to read. And then it's all about them. What do you camp in? What do you like to see? Your favorite animal, the animal you want to see. More questions, and then here's the first spot for pictures. Now, don't worry, this isn't the only spot for pictures. There's going to be a lot more, especially with all those uh, kid proof cameras they have nowadays. There's a lot of opportunity for pictures. So, I do have an adult camp journal. This is like my adult camp journal. They can write where they've been, they have a place for the name, the location, the dates. Now, I've left a lot, I've left this one in black and white so you can kind of color it in or doodle or whatever it is. And I try to leave a little bit of something to color around on each page. And the best thing to use for this is colored pencils. Um, the pen will probably show through either side, so just use your pencils so you can keep it looking nice. And the next page is one for friends you've met, or they've met, I should say. So a name, contact, where they met. I know a lot of road schoolers have a pen pals kind of through their journeys and through their trips, so it's just a fun way to write that down. And here is the meat of the journal. This is where each camp trip will be logged. So I think like 25 of these. So in the first one, you see the basics, where I stayed, how the weather was, dates of my stay, favorite things you didn't saw. And then I made three little boxes for each trip um, to sketch various things. The first one's an animal, a bug, and just something cool. This is all for the drawing of the campsites, whether it's a picture, a drawing, or if they don't like drawing, they can even write about it, um, about the things at their campsite. And then I had to include something they LOL'd about because kids love funny jokes, funny stories, so I wanted to leave a spot for that. And you'll notice a very cute picture of some raccoons. <laughs> They're doing mischievous things, and that's kind of funny. So that is a decent portion of it, but don't worry, there is more than just that, because like I said, I don't want this to be just a line journal, or just a log. So then we go on to our animal tracks. I always love finding animal tracks with my kids, and I wanted to incorporate that into this journal. So here are some basic ones. Um, most which you'll be seeing is probably going to be birds or squirrels or something, but I just want to include some fun ones, like if you really see a bear track, or if you see a coyote, that would be pretty darn cool. I don't expect that to be the norm, but I just thought, you know, it'd be fun to have that. And then I included multiple spots right here to write down tracks they've seen. And there's a little line right here, so they kind of write down like where they saw it, all that kind of stuff. I left a couple pages for that. Next is animals. So anytime they see a cool animal, they can add it just kind of their list of animals they've seen. Whether it's a sketch, a photo, I have a little mini photo printer that could fit in here, but I know kids have those little Fuji, whatever it is, printers, the small ones. And um, you could cut it out and put it on here. And I also left, again, a little line to write about where they saw it, what it was. And I leave a couple spots for that. Next is plants and more. So this is for favorite plants or other small details they might see. So moss, bark cool rock, whatever it is, they can draw into these spots. And the same thing, they have a little uh, area they can write what they saw in there. Next are my scavenger hunts. Now, I know it depends on how you're camping. You may use this more than once, you may not. Um, I suggest putting a clear piece of tape here so that they can reuse it each time they want to. But if not, I am doing kind of a cool thing where if you purchase this, you will gain access to a library that has these printables plus more so that you can kind of keep on redoing it for each camp trip. 
So that'd be kind of fun in case you don't want to, you know, in case you do this and they want to do it again, I'll have a spot where you could just print that off and bring it with you every camp trip. So the first one is all about the ABCs of going outside and camping. And this one is the camp experiences hunt. So it's much like it says um, about experiences when you're camping. This could be especially fun for someone who doesn't camp very often or doesn't get the, um, this is their first time, they don't get to go. That's just really fun to try and do. And next is a silly camp story time. Um, it's based on a popular game that rhymes with bad kibs. <laughs> I don't know if I can say it or not. But uh, it's a fun thing for the older kids for sure or with a parent's help where you know you fill in all the missing spots at the bottom without looking at the story and then you plug in those words to each story and you see what you come up with. And it can be pretty silly at times. Some word searches. This is again a little thing for the older kids. Um, uh, this one's camping related terms, some animals, and then notes. Just in case they want to take note of anything that I didn't already include, I did include quite a few note pages and then some photo pages for just photos that don't fit anywhere else. I think next is camping bingo. So this is another one where uh, I will have this to be able to print at the link in the back of this book for people who purchase the journal. So if you want to, you can use this over and over again. It's pretty fun. It has things you can find at most campsites. Um, obviously some of them you might not get, like you might not see a buffalo all the time or a deer. But you know, you can modify it however you want as a parent uh, to make it achievable for them or make it kind of like a buff list of things they've seen. Whatever you want to do. And next I have some camp charades. So what you can do is cut them out. They are double sided. This one is, so when you cut it out, I guess they can just choose which one they want to do. And they're really fun camp related things. So, you know, make a fire, blow off a hot marshmallow, reel on a big fish, try to park the RV. Some of these could be fun for adults. So don't think this is all just fun for the kids. Let's see, act like a bear, act like you see a bear. And again, this is something that will be on my website for uh, the kids camp journal purchasers. So if you don't want to cut this out or whatever it is, you can just print it out from your computer or you can just write these on slips, on, uh, on slips of paper and then do it that way. And then here's my super secret URL <laughs> for everyone who buys this journal. So I'm gonna make this affordable, it's fun, it has tons of activities. If you don't know what to do, you can at least give the kids one of these pages to fill out and then they'll be busy for a little while. So I do hope you enjoy it and I thank you for your interest and I hope to see you in that group. This is Stacey Bressler, the Crazy Outdoor Mama, creator of the Kids Camping Journal. Talk to you soon. Bye.